I didn't realize it's gonna be so uh, Japanese, you know. <laughs> yeah, like the yakuza and even the yeah. even all the songs like uh, Japanese. Songs. It is Japanese. It's yeah, it's... there's a list of every single song here. If you really want to know, <laughs> Japanese pop and rock. So all these songs are Japanese. Secret Vanilla, mm. I'm a Pop, Blooming. Yeah. <laughs> so this seems to be a interesting take on maybe John Wick, or not really. Yeah, I think it's... I don't know, because you know how like they they all seem to want to copy John Wick? You know, yeah, I just this put, was... This... I was going to say, this is another revenge film. Is is this the flavor of the month now? Yeah, just put a female instead of a male. Yeah, but this one definitely didn't do it as do it that great at all. I yeah, mean, I interesting say, premise, this... but this is yeah. definitely no John Wick. I agree. I was going the the beginning and the general story is interesting enough, but apart from that, and her acting was okay. Yeah, apart from that, no. Yeah, Tasty, definitely not. Terrible. Uh, the, yeah, no. I thought the Japanese girl was better. The, the, the... Oh, the the uh, Ooh, the little yeah. Annie, Annie. Annie. Okay. I actually yeah. didn't I quite find her all that too believable. She <laughs> was interesting enough. I liked her sass and the fact that she stood up to herself. But mm. I don't know if that really happened. I'm I'm not sure. Yeah, mm. couldn't quite engage with her. The film really yeah. wants us to care about the character, but fails to make us do so. Well, as well, it seems to be a show that spans a, 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 practically just one night. So yeah, I know, right? It's like it's like one night. It's like a few <laughs> hours. It's the entire movie. It's a few hours. <clears throat> I prefer John Wick. Oh yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. I mean that's the at least five times more than this. <laughs> oh, yeah. See then yeah, John Wick much, though. Um... If you remember he was out to avenge the death of his uh dog. Yeah, the whereas dog. in Kate is an mission to avenge her own death. <laughs> and protect a young girl. <laughs> yep, John Wick did everything because his dog died. Dog died, oh, yeah. Okay. Is even the pop vinyl of Keanu Reeves with the dog or John Wick with the dog for the movie. So it he says there's dog. a pale imitation. <laughs> pale imitation of John Wick. Yeah. <laughs> and in the end, we kind of knew from the beginning that she will die because they kept reminding us that she will die, she will die, she will die, she will die sir. Yeah, um, yeah. Like- you knew, they said, yeah. oh, you got 24 hours because of her acute radiation syndrome from Polonium 204. And you could Polonium tell 240. the fact that she Polonium 240, yeah. 204. 204, 240. Because <laughs> yeah. she goes, Polonium 210? It goes, no, 204. And I went, gosh, that's really specific. Okay. <laughs> but, yeah, and, and the the vomiting, the whole need for medication yeah mm. so who poisoned mary elizabeth winstead in the end but in the end she also dies at that opportune moment that's right so it was renji who it was it the uh, both of them who did it so yeah him, renji Varick and, and Varick, yeah and renji isn't it woody harrelson Woody yeah. Harrison's character, right? Renji and Varric who teamed oh, up yeah. together. Yeah, who poisoned Kate and why? Yeah, so Kajit. Okay, Varric, yeah. Varric secretly yeah. working with Renji. Oh, he was Raiden. I didn't realize he was Raiden. Renji, uh, the the actor mm. in uh, Mortal Kombat. <laughs> but, but not great, maybe. <laughs> Fighting was okay. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. So, yeah, both of them, yeah. Does Kate die? I think it's pretty clear that she did, right? 
Yep, she died. The movie concluded with Kate's eyes shutting and the faint heartbeat noise playing over the film fading out. <laughs> no, no sequel. <laughs> so Finally, one. we can stop talking about sequels. <laughs> There is a wiggle room, though, for a reversal of Kate's fate in the future, depending on if Netflix wants to turn this into a franchise. <laughs> oh, come on. Stop it with the sequels. <laughs> Some movies are meant to be just one. You don't have to make sequels of every single thing. Yeah. A possible sequel could reveal that Kojima or someone else found a way to reverse the effects of a poisoning and save Kate's life. If you, wanted, if you really, really, really wanted to do a sequel. <laughs> Still not likely because it will take ages to find a cure if they never had one in the first place. Yeah, for uh, what polonium two something or four or two forty. And how did she even survive against shot in the face? Oh yeah, well, she got shot multiple times too. <clears throat> polonium two hundred four was um, delivered by uh, Marie and Pierre. Curie in 1898. 1898. In the 20th and 21st century, lethal doses of polonium uh, were used in and in at least one international poisoning, the murder of Alexander uh, Lit, uh, Lit um, who were a former Russian spy who had defected to the United Kingdom, uh, who was administered a, a lethal dose of polonium 210. Oh. So, yeah, um, 204, I think, is basically made up for Netflix. <laughs> because, right. I, right. yeah, um, uh, like, yeah, Polonium 210 as well, but I don't think, uh, yeah, I mean, um, do you remember, um, she said, uh, like, uh, when, um, when she was, um, uh, poisoned, um, huh? and she, uh, um, the doctor said, IRS, and she said, oh, yeah. Acute um, radiation sickness, and she said, uh, "Polonium two ten. Yeah. And the doctor said, "No, two o four, two two something. The other one. Yeah. Mm. So it's made up for yeah. this movie, most likely. Yeah. Is she uh, doing? Um, it, it had to have uh, meant something to Kate. Yeah, yeah I actually, uh, I was really curious about that, but polonium actually has forty two isotopes, so. It could validly be one. Mm. But they never really explained it in the movie, so... No, no they never Let, did. Let's just leave it as at that so I'm just not going to the scientific stuff about it. Oh. All we <laughs> well, know I mean, is that she has acute radiation poisoning. Yeah, 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 just say that. And it's feasible that it's one of the isotopes of polonium. Yeah. Which they don't have to get into so much. Actually, the other it's... thing is they didn't... They, they did touch a bit on the uh, her parents, right? And what happened. But we, we don't really know exactly what happened. We only know that Varric became her mentor. Do you know what this reminds me of? Gunpowder milkshake. Gunpowder milkshake. How yeah. she, you know, is supposed to kill the father, but because of the daughter, she ends up becoming... The mentor, protector, the oh, parent, the guardian girl. figure of the, yeah. girl, yeah. of the girl, yeah, yeah. And how Hilarious. she herself, she herself was groomed to be a killer in the same way um, Kate was. Hmm. So I could see those parallels. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, here we go. Um, yeah, it does seem like Gunpowder Mix like yeah. Shake is going to have a sequel. Oh, it does or well, doesn't? When, it will apparently. When oh, Kate, it will. Okay. When. When Kate first learns she's been poisoned, yep. she thinks maybe it's polonium 210, which yep. appears to be the more common form of radioactive material. The above example of poisoning and the CDC info page on polonium mm -hmm. all seem to cite polonium 210 
not to let him go for. My guess is that the screenwriters behind Kate opted to use a less common form of the substance to give them more leeway to uh, play fast and loose yeah, yeah, with the right. facts of for the, movie with the facts purposes. of the yeah. <laughs> yeah it's like a uh, 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 made up made polonium. Made up yeah. polonium. Yeah. Which makes sense. Nothing in movies have to be real or absolutely. Oh yeah, it also does things that they don't have to adhere to you Yeah, know. I mean yeah um 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 it 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 I mean we were like about uh, five minutes into it, and it um, kind of already let me down. Like um, um, she ran and um, um, had her uh, sniper rifle on her back and uh, got up on the on the roof, and she had her uh, sniper rifle assembled, sighted in, uh, ready to go. In less than five minutes. Now, yeah. uh, um, like a sniper <laughs> knows, a sniper knows that's impossible. It takes, you know, at least, at least. Um, uh, uh, I think we uh, should leave this to the take... science of movies, because movie science, yeah. as we always said, never makes sense. Oh, by the way, polonium two hundred four is real. It's listed as one of the isotopes of polonium. The less, the, the less. So it's not fake. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But but so now yeah. I wonder if like they'll be searching and people searching up old lady on Google. <laughs> <laughs> like what's going on here? A riveting plot that weighs Mary Elizabeth Wins. Actually, where what other movies has she been recently? Oh yeah, okay. Oh wow, Birds of Prey. I didn't I completely forgot she yeah. was in Birds of Prey. What? I don't think I know Birds of Prey. It's the DC Birds uh, of Prey is that DC one. This one, remember? And the emancipation of Harley Quinn. The very long title one. The Fantabulous Emancipation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that one. Anyway. Um, Gemini Man. Oh, I I didn't know she was in Gemini Man too. With Will Smith, and Will Smith and Will Smith. <laughs> Death Proof, Live Free or Die Hard. Oh, she was in uh, Die Hard. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, Death Proof. I do not know. Death Proof is the um the is it. The Robert Rodriguez movie. Yeah, I don't know. Um, or was it the Tarantino one? Oh, this one, yeah. Oh yeah, in Tarantino. <clears throat> They've never watched that one. Hmm. Yeah, so she's been a few. And Woody um, Harrison is going to be in a movie coming soon. Woody Harrison, yeah. What well, a new one, yeah. Well the not MCU one, but Marvel. Oh, uh, he's gonna play Carnage. Ah, uh, Venom. Before the Venom movie. Yeah, that's coming up soon too. Yeah, actually, she he was in the first Venom too. Yeah, like oh, right at the he? very end. Yes. Right at the very end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right at the very yeah. end. Yeah. Anyway, actually, yeah, here's the uh, all the um cast members actually. Uh, yeah, we know. Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Yeah, but a lot of people would know Woody Harrelson now from like uh, maybe Zombie Land or well, <laughs> uh, or yeah, Zombie Land series, the Hunger Games, Hunger Games series. Yes, the Hunger Games series. The games, and uh, oh, he was yeah, in Three he, Billboards. He he's the he's the um yeah he's in Three Billboards. He he's been in lots of things. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's in a lot of things. things. He's a very lauded. Oh, what else has he been in? Well, he's been, he was nominated three times for Oscar for uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. these three. I'm <clears throat> um, mm. so, yeah. Yeah, in The Hunger Games, he plays the alcoholic mentor. Yeah, something he does. Ha- Hamish? Ha- Hamish? Yeah. Something like that. All right. And Zombieland, of course. <laughs> Zombieland, yeah. Yes, yeah, so. 
and uh, no country for old men. <clears throat> yes, no country for old men. That's the one I was going. It was an Oscar nominated one and it was really good. Hmm. Miku Martino, Martino as any. Doesn't really sound Japanese. Too Japanese. Uh, she's like she's mix, isn't it? Probably mm-hmm. a mix, yeah. Maybe mix. yeah. Okay. Like Miku, yes, it's oh, Japanese, no, but Martino doesn't really oh. sound so Japanese. Probably European, <laughs> Japanese or something. Yeah, it doesn't even have a wiki. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's look at wiki. <laughs> Probably, yeah, little, maybe quite new. Yeah. yeah. If but Miku, it's, yes, it, it's a Japanese name, but Matsunaru I mean, is... She's only 16. She's really? 7, 17. So only 2004. Born. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of mixed Asian um, women recently, in tennis as well. In, in where? Yeah. Tennis, the female champions. Oh, okay. And then there are all these supporting people, no idea who they are. <laughs> Kijima, Renji. Oh, oh yeah, this this one, this one, Raiden. Yeah. <laughs> and those are really Japanese names, like Kijima, Renji. Yeah, Kijima, Renji, Tanako, Sato, Shinzo, Kojima. <laughs> yeah. Those are really Japanese names. Yeah. Wow. Like Miku's first name, yes, it sounds Japanese, but the last name is, yeah, definitely not. <laughs> oh, well. Two hour five but I, from screen. Yeah. But I did, in, <laughs> let's see her do it like with the finger gun. The what gun? The finger gunning. Oh, with the uh, Annie? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that was funny. There were some funny bits, uh, mm. a few funny bits. <laughs> but in okay, maybe not great, not the worst. Not the worst. Actually, here, are, here are all the ones that are very similar. <laughs> Let's see how many we've seen. Anna, have I yeah, seen I've seen that. Yeah, you, you have. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it a, is it a series or t or movie? It's a movie. Movie. I think I might have seen it. Uh, oh, yeah, I've seen this one. Yeah, we've seen that one. Atomic yeah. Blonde. What else? Ava? Which one's Ava? I have not seen that one. Oh, wow. The Help, which is exactly Charmian's name right, uh, right now. After directing Jessica Chastain. Oh, okay, okay. It's saying that Tate, the Tate, director of The one. Help. Reunited yeah. with Jessica for Jessica this Justine. A- for Ava. Mm. Huh. <clears throat> there, yeah, again, part of most Jacobs in there. <laughs> Since we did mention it several times. Karen, which one do you prefer, like Karen Gillian or Mary Elizabeth Winstead? I don't know. Kind, it's kind mm. of similar. <laughs> but but I think yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm I think be... Karen Gillan's acting is better than Mary Elizabeth says in this one in these styles. And I think it also that part of also is a little bit more more fun. Um, uh, yeah, more as more a group. style, more style as well. Yeah, um, visual verve. Hmm. Hmm. Hannah, oh yeah, I've seen Hannah. Oh, Hannah, yep, yeah, I've seen that. In a Kill Bill. <laughs> a Kill Bill. That's quite old now. I think when we are talking about Campion Milkshake, we also mentioned Kill Bill. Yeah. Just can't avoid Kill Bill. The film Nikita. Yeah. This is uh Kate. It, uh... Is it so Kate? it's his... It says that it's 1990, so I have never, I probably have not seen that one. Luke Besson. Huh. I'm thinking uh, more Luke of the... Luke Besson is uh, good. 
good name there. Like, what did he direct? Lucy. Yeah, yeah. He did, who, and did and uh, he's a French guy, French to um, that sci-fi. Can't remember the name. Wasn't fifth, there? Oh, another, Fifth Element. Yeah. Fifth Element. Yeah. That's Wasn't there name. also another show called Nikita? Not like in nineteen ninety. Yeah, yeah. Recent one. The uh, the Kate Beckinsale one, right? Yeah, that one. Like, probably. Yeah. And then yeah, Lucy, yeah. Uh, Luke Besson as well, Luke yeah. Luke Besson, yeah. Yeah, I just said that. Yeah. What well, is Scarlett Johansson? Yeah. Yeah, but this one is a completely different style. It's probably not like a revenge thing. Yeah. Well the similarity is the female assassin uh, template. <clears throat> but I say with a really weird story arc. Lucy. Is Lucy is kind of like there was another movie about some there was a male, it's a female version of a similar male movie. You know one where they took took the smart pill. Um can't remember mm. what the name is. Uh, I remember mm. it came out around the same time. Mm. <clears throat> well it wasn't a good movie. Well we saw this uh yeah, we did a review of that as On well. On Netflix, yeah. Charlize Theron, yeah. And Salt. <laughs> yeah, Angelina salt. Jolie. Yeah, this was a while. This was like more than 10 years now. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but overall this movie, interesting story arc. Kind of blandish. Kind of bland, a bit bland. Yeah, kind of bland, a bit. Like it, the story almost doesn't tend to blend so well, but it was an okay watch. I wouldn't like walk out of the movie theater or anything, but. <laughs> well, I think he didn't even want to try. <laughs> he didn't even show up. But yeah, still not an absolutely great movie. Not the worst movie. Just, you know, bland. Is what you're bland saying. and maybe like, kind of average, maybe. Like a five it, or something. Yeah. It got more interesting at the end. Or oh, when they discovered that uh, they were all being used. Yeah, but that's practically it. Yeah. But then the whole beginning part of the movie doesn't make sense because she was targeting the wrong people the whole time. Hmm. There so, we so what would you give it then? 3 uh, out of 10? <laughs> 3.5. 3. 3.5, okay. By the way, you're actually being generous because IGN is a 2. <laughs> Okay. So again, right? IGN does give. Uh... Yeah, they agree <laughs> with the bland. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's very bland. <laughs> and unoriginal. Do they even understand what unoriginal means? Unoriginal? Yeah. What original? <laughs> Unoriginal means like it's just a complete copy. Oh, yeah, yeah. They did say that it's like a copy of John Wick. I didn't think it was a complete copy of John Wick. They yeah. tried, but it is a different story arc. It's not the same. If it's yeah. a copy, it would have copied the entire story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, the whole template of she wants to go kill everyone now because in John Wick's in John Wick, it was because of the dog, right? Yeah, it but... Because yeah. Of and he else. didn't want to kill everyone. His, <laughs> his yeah. life, he became the he, he became the object for bounty hunters. So everyone's after him and he was just defending himself. Whereas Kate, she had a singular focus of, I want to kill the guy who tried to kill me. I yeah, have 24 and hours in which hours. to do it. Yeah, so, and I have a time yeah. limit which to do it. So there's no nonsense, no faffing about. And I'm gonna, you know, get to all the people up so far I know who are our leads, and mm. I'm gonna go get them. 
So practically, it's more semi-original instead of just unoriginal completely. Okay, yeah. So I disagree with that. Oh, just just the word unoriginal. Is that yeah. right? Because I just find that every time you have a it's not unoriginal. Film, you people always jump to John Wick, whereas revenge is a strong motivation for all sorts of actions, and it's. The, the reason for the revenge can be quite different and the outcomes, although motivated by revenge, can be different in terms of, so like I said, the focus or, yeah. or the time period or the people they come across, whereas with her, it's all in the same um, world of Japanese Yakuza and it's all that same family sort of thing. Mm. And it wasn't, um, yeah, I know. Yeah, which John Wick doesn't touch on those sort of things. So yeah, hmm. where we so John it's Wick, it's not a complete copy. John they Wick try is, to do their own thing. Yeah, with the tension with John Wick is anyone could be out for him, and hmm. he's just a fugitive one on the run. In one sense, she's a fugitive, but not by everybody. Um, it's because she caused those actions herself by that singular focus of trying to hunt down this Kijima guy. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, I think Shami's point about always going back to John Wick. I, I think it's more talking about tone and that kind of thing. Uh, and yeah, the whole revenge thing too. But, but then a, they shouldn't call it unoriginal, because all of these other movies are do, trying to do their things with. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're trying to copy. Is is what I think is what they're trying to say. It's trying to copy, but maybe not doing it very well. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Or maybe they didn't try to copy it. It just ended up being similar to it, so they always match it up with John Wick as the core primary. See, this is what he said. Movie. It tries to borrow several of the elements that made John Wick so exceptional, and it does so without any real uh, pretense of originality. <clears throat> oh, I just found out. Whether, we sh- whether it's unfair that we all- anything got to do with revenge, we always seem to jump on John Wick. John Wick, yeah, John that, Wick. that's what I'm saying. We're, like, we're, we're always matching up with John Wick. That we put upon it. Yeah. Maybe it's because it, it was the first to make a some kind of impact, and you know it did it pretty well. So now it's like the bar <laughs> or the standard. Yeah, mm. but the thing is, uh, Netflix doesn't really do really good movies anyway. <laughs> like these Netflix original movies always tend to be quite bad. Well, they're they're kind of ranging from maybe something like uh, Gunpowder Milkshake was decent. It was decent. Yeah. Not great. That I was mean, can fun. You, can you think of a really good Netflix original film? Mm. Um. Um, old, old guy was okay. <laughs> actually, actually, uh, Army of the Dead was was actually all right. It was okay, but yeah, Sex Night. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> and who knows the upcoming Red Not? Was it Red Notice? Oh yeah, Red Notice is. I think that's that's gonna be a Netflix one. Yeah, I admit. that actually might be good. We'll see. Yeah. That's in November, I think. Is that mm-hmm. as Dwayne The Rock Johnson and Ryan Reynolds and Gal Gadot? The three, three big stars, yeah. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, this probably is going to be one of the biggest Netflix movies. Yeah, because it's got Ryan Reynolds and Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, all of the Two hundred million dollar blockbuster. Mm. Actually, it's not a, oh, all right. So they did spend it much. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and thinking about it, <laughs> Ryan Reynolds is now in the Fast franchise. 
Oh yeah, he is. Eh? He's in. Uh... He was in Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw, yeah. And at the end of Hobbs and Shaw, he was calling Dwayne the Rock Johnson yeah. about killing with someone with a brick. Again. But then that was a bit of a spin-off, so I don't know if he'll show up again. Probably will. Anyway. They have plans for it, so hmm. we shall see. All right, so it's uh, 3.5 from Jono. <laughs> Bill? Oh, I didn't think it was that bad. I gave it a five. Yeah. I think I was hovering a, about four, four to a five. So maybe a 4.5 then. <laughs> Alrighty. Now, something um, I noticed, uh, which was uh, pointed out um, to me um, on... Um, on a movie review thing on uh, YouTube. Uh, remember uh, when uh, um, they were uh, pulling out the samurai sword, samurai swords out of the wooden wooden sheaves? Mm -hmm. They're making metallic noises. Oh, how would they make? How would they make a metallic noise <laughs> again? Again, out it's a movie. A, okay. and then, sound effects. Um, they <laughs> added sound effects. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but, um, when um, when, when when the old guy um shoved his um samurai sword um through uh, um the guy who was about to uh, yeah, he brought stand. a sword to a gunfight. Yeah. Yeah, but um, um, it it made a metallic um, noise going through going through the guy. Well, it's more dramatic. <laughs> for a but, movie. It's, uh, but it's practically a sound effect. They just yeah. added it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Um. But I yeah. I. I. I enjoyed it. Um, Despite all uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll probably uh, watch it again on Netflix. Wow, um, what's, your what's your score? What's your score? I think I'll give it. Uh, yeah, uh, solid six, yeah, okay. six point five. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll go seven actually. Wow! Yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Mm. yeah, it was, um, it was good, good, um, uh, head chopping scene. <laughs> yeah, there head was chopping. only one part where they chopped up the head, and there was a pretty, pretty quick fight. I thought it was going to last a bit longer than yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. I, think, yeah. yeah. I mean, very quick. That, that 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 guy really, <laughs> that guy really did understand. Underestimate the old man, didn't he? Okay, Renji, yeah, he Renji. did. Like he kept saying that I'm the future, and then yet he lost oh, oh, yeah. five seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like, oh, I'm an old man. You can't fight. I'm an old man. You, yeah, you, you're not a warrior at all. <laughs> like, I'm you're the not future. A I'm the future. He says. Yeah. He didn't <laughs> even last five seconds. Seriously. Yeah. He and, finished uh, very quickly. Yeah, he finished so quickly. <laughs> After he talked himself up, he'd expect like a big fight. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, it was a bit of a letdown. Yeah, well, it was anti, a complete letdown. Anti climax. Yeah. <laughs> anti climax. Well, they just made fun of it and say, yeah, this guy has just formed himself, just going quickly. <laughs> yeah. It's about, uh, okay. Actually, yeah, we're, we're very close. Very, very close. 40, and f audience is 55, so you know, around that. Yeah, but everyone else's scores right now. Yeah, what about uh, uh, Jeff? Um, I'm, I'm going to give it a three. <laughs> Two with three. Wow, the lowest of them all. Three the lowest of them. <laughs> Any reasons to that? Still higher than IGN. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, no, just... what's your reasoning that you'd actually rate it lower than even me? Yeah, I thought you liked uh, the little girl. The Asian one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's okay, but... No. I guess yeah, maybe what Shami said. Not maybe she's quite quite young, still not really trained to uh, as an actor, so to speak. But. 
<laughs> but they also reminded us that she was very young in the movie multiple times. That's it's right. like this movie is like so into itself to just remind us that this person is dying. <laughs> this girl is too young. It's like it has to go what? out of its way to tell us. And they remind us many times she is dying. She's a kid. You don't have to I, say I it like just multiple, to, to, multiple to, to times. Over our heads to say, hey, look at the similarities between her and and uh, Kate. They're yeah. both gonna die. Mm. <laughs> They're trying to draw similarities, <laughs> kind of. Mm. Yeah, but they just had the repetitiveness again, and again. That's yeah. I kind of found annoying, and that's why I found it even more bland. <laughs> right. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I just uh, kind of feel that they're trying to dumb it down. To make sure that we get it. <laughs> so they have How to keep dumb it are we? Jeff score was three out of ten. What is the help score? Huh? The what? Oh, Charmian. Yes, we haven't got to Charmian oh, yeah. yet. I now? was thinking three as well, <laughs> three, but yeah. I'm wondering if I'm a little too harsh. So. And I thought I was harsh. <laughs> Man, you guys are more generous than IGN this time. So so surprised. <laughs> it wasn't altogether. Yeah, I mean, terrible. it's not terrible. Like, like Bill liked it. Like yeah, I, I can't really justify a one or a two. I actually thought um, she was a decent actress. The character, her motivations made sense. Uh, peripheral scenes were great. The, the tone, the palette, um, the set was good. The, pu- um, the publish palette was was all right. It gives it a bit of a, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe a ghost in the shell sort of. Uh, don't it. talk about that movie. <laughs> that was horrible. No, I'm just it's thinking actually, about the color palette. <laughs> yeah, I actually like the color pal- palette where it, it's mainly dark, but then there's sort of, uh, it's like that darkly set at night, but then there's uh, times where it's well lit. When she's in the bathroom, it's like really gritty and grey and dirty and dank. But then you've got the bright neon neon, neon lights, you know, yeah, the pink yeah. hat pink neon, yeah. and the Hello Kitty, that, that pink van at the beginning, that mm. pink car she hijacks, that flips. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I quite liked the way that they sort of contrast the dark with, with the splashes of light. And yeah, the colour palette was... I quite like that. Okay, yeah. Stylistically, it was good. And but, at yeah. least it wasn't like dark, dark. It had some sort of neon mm. colors. Yeah. And I like the fact Man. that they used um, the soundtrack was all Japanese songs. Yeah, so yeah. Just now I had a list <coughs> of all the to, <laughs> to fit the Japanese <laughs> culture and me, me, what, Exactly. Me, and the me, fact that she spoke Japanese as well. So, and me, quite a lot of the boom, dialogue boom, was conducted in Japanese. So, I like I that. want boom, boom, lemon. I mean, it's hard yeah, to tell which, whether... Which, which is Japanese. kind of interesting why at the end she started talking Japanese. But when they had the shooting scene with, in the car, the Annie said, like, speak in English. Yeah, speak when English, clearly yeah. she can understand Japanese. Yeah. And she can speak Japanese. So that part saying, speak in Japanese, please, even though they both can speak in Japanese, like, um, okay, why? Mm-hmm. That made no sense. I, I don't I don't think it's really um, um, aimed um, uh, um, to the mainstream American audience. No, I think it's made I, more for, like, clueless Americans sometimes, I think. Oh, I think some Americans no, are I, I, action blockbusters. I mean, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift was set in Tokyo, and it's mainly just action as well. So I, yeah. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't insult all Americans and say if it's not some sort of a Western setting, it'll be a bit of a turn off. But yeah. Yeah, but this definitely does not feel Japanese at all. Oh, like as they had, they had the Japanese like language and a bit of the tone but mm-hmm. if you're thinking like japanese culture or like oh japanese no 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 movies, I'm, I'm not thinking that this is like this is definitely not it although yeah, they so did have all the japanese, the japanese production they yeah. even um, include the yakuza it, which is a real japanese thing 
Yeah. But yeah. this does not seem to be the same Yakuza that a lot of people know in like yeah. other Yakuza movies. I found it interesting that she had a gun with a cool silencer <laughs> and, and they all had knives. No, I'm nice. Nice. I'm like, can't you guys afford guns? <laughs> but anyway, I, I just like the fact that they, you know, set it somewhere, kept it there, kept it somewhat believable. Um, hmm. yeah. And the uh, non real Yakuza people. Mm. Mm. Whatever. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Interesting. 